Hi there friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to the digging through my stash A through Z video and this is going to be focusing on the letter U. Um, I am sharing the sketch that I'm going to be following and it is a Scrapper Generation sketch and it is a free 2021 free sketch. So if I remember, I will make sure to put the it that in the put a link in the description box below so for you i decided to go with uplifting quotes um i was kind of thinking that maybe i don't know i was going to do some kind of like a universe theme or um upside down or something like that but i really i couldn't figure out like what to do and how to like what kind of pictures or stories and things like that. And so when I came across this paper in my stash, it had all of these quotes. I thought, well, why don't I just do uh, uplifting quotes? So that's what I'm doing here. And um, of course, like I said, I am using this cut apart paper from my stash and you can use stamps you can use die cuts if you have like three by four papers or sorry, three by four cards or six four by six you can use that as well but i just thought that i have this in my stash so might as well and it actually really worked out with the sketch that i had pulled because of uh in the sketch it had a bunch of circle accents on kind of the center maybe like a little bit towards the top center and I really like that because then it will give me a place to put all of the quotes that I had wanted. So I'm just cutting up all of the pieces. I am going to focus on the smaller ones so I can get as much of the quotes um, on there as I can. Um, I also pulled out some other like cut apart papers and... Um, I don't know, I was just thinking, you know, I could do a mix match, but I just actually ended up using that one from that the paper that you saw me, me cut apart. I'm sorry, I can't tell you exactly where I got that paper. <laughs> um, sometimes I have branding strips still left on my paper and sometimes I do not. So in this particular moment or this particular paper did not have any branding strips. So I don't know where I got it. I'm guessing just by the colors of it, I'm guessing it's an Echo Park paper, but I'm sure you guys are so much better at like knowing collections than I do. So if you do recognize the paper, leave the name and the brand in the comment section below for anybody that will be interested. So in the sketch, it called for three photos and they're all three by four. And I just so happen to have just three of these photos of my daughter making dinner. So we started this a about oh I don't know maybe three years ago where I have my big kids make dinner once a month so they take a Sunday and they make dinner and um, of course I'm the one who's buying all the ingredients and sometimes I'm the one who's planning because they can't think of what they want to make but then I print out the instructions if I need to print them out if it's in the cookbook I show them the cookbook and then they just I just give them basically free reign of the kitchen. Um, if they do uh, ask me for help, I will help them. But it, this is my way of making sure that I prepare my children for, um, you know, when they leave uh, the house. Because I remember when I was 19 and um, it was my first time living at home, the only thing that I could make was rice and um, fry some eggs <laughs> like seriously that's only thing I could do and so I lived off of like ramen and canned goods like things that are easy that I just have to heat it up so um, I want my kids to be able to learn how to make things and so in these particular pictures my daughter was the one that made the dish we have this dish that we like uh, my husband got it from a co-worker it's called garbanzos gallegos um, it's basically just sausage with some garbanzo beans tomato sauce um, onions like really easy stuff and and then we serve it on top of rice and sprinkle some cheese. And then for those that want spice, we put some tapatio on top. And so it's very easy dish. So my kids have made it many times. And then this particular um, night dinner, my daughter also made some pineapple upside down cake. So that's what you're seeing there. And I'm just basically 
writing or I had put in the journaling the, you know, the things that she had made and how I'm so proud of her for making something. And so also so grateful. Like I always tell my two big kids how grateful I am when they make dinner because it's, that's one less thing that I have to do, right? I mean, if you're a mom and you're um, a mom of, of kid or, or maybe even for kids, but if you have a busy life, you know how sometimes it's very difficult to make sure that you have dinner ready every single day because it's very tiring and there's lots of other things that you could be doing. So that's, um, that's why I'm so grateful for them for making dinner. So one of the things that I noticed for the sketch was that they had banners. And so I really liked that. It just so happened that this cut apart sheet also has banners. And so that's what I'm going to be adding to my page. Now in the sketch, the title was on the bottom right. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. But because of the orientation of my cut apart sheets, I'm actually going to move things around. But right now you're going to see me cut some stuff up. Um, I did use my hole puncher so that I can create some circles because a lot of them are, have like straight edges and um, round, uh, no, straight corners or sharp corners that's what i'm trying to say and then um so i kind of wanted to break it up with some circles and some curves there and then i also used my notebook punch and created the notebook edge on the top of my journaling block um, i like that little detail so much that i am going to repeat it with my title and the title will be You Make Me Happy. And again, that's another cut apart. So you can use your cut aparts for this particular um, project and also, of course, the uplifting quote. So now that I have added my paper on the bottom, the strip, I also added some scallop washi there just because I felt, again, I needed some some roundness to this paper i mean to this page i feel like there's a lot of sharp edges because of the banners and then the squares and the rectangles so i wanted to ha have a little bit more of the um rounded corners there and this is where i decided that i wanted the banner to go to the right instead of the left and so i'm moving all of those quotes around and then i'm going to add the banner on the top I mean, sorry, on the bottom of the, the collage, but on the right side. And then because I have the banners on that side, I had moved my quote or sorry, my title on the left side. And then, um, I was debating if I wanted to have some kind of string to go with my banners, but I was feeling lazy. And I'm also like, I don't know, I'm in this state of wanting to have my layouts not as bulky as the layouts that I've done in the past. Like I feel like when I put them all into sheet protectors, they all get kind of I don't know, they, what, they get smushed anyways. And so I like to have my layouts now as flat as I can. I know that doesn't look, this sound good or probably would look better if they have a little bit more dimension. And I do add some dimension here and there, but as far as like the texture of twine or I don't know, back in the day, I have like so many layers. And so I have these layouts that are just so chunky but when they're all squished together, they kind of, the shapes are lost. So I like, I like just tucking them in like this and then adding a few things here and there, but that's going to be my layout. Oh, um, another thing that I add on this page are flowers. I feel like I wanted to add a little bit more yellow to the page because of the yellow from the pineapple of the pineapple upside down cake. And so I'm going to add some flowers. I'm going to put them in three different places on my layout. And then I'm going to, of course, add some centers to them. And then, like I said, I will add a little bit of bulk in here, but not as bulky as I used to. Um, I will add some rhinestones here and there. And then, um, 
just add a little bit of sprinkles of different kinds of things but that is basically my layout for today again you is for uplifting quotes i hope that you will find some uplifting quotes in your stash and then use them on your next layout if you're new to my channel or you've um if you're new stumbled upon this page or that you don't know you've not been aware of what i'm doing basically i am digging to through my stash using this is my version of using up my supplies and i am doing it alphabetical style and we are on letter u now i try to do two layouts a month and so we are close to the end here um I do know that there is only going to be 24 layouts for the month uh, for the year 2021 and so the other two layouts will cross over to 2022 and i have um, some good friends or some followers that have been um, joining with me and so i hope that if you're inspired that you will join us as well and that you will find these prompts to be something that's useful for you when you are looking for a different way to use up your stash anyways here is my layout there will be some close-up shots at the end if you have any questions let me know in the description box below and i will catch you guys in the next video bye